Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Boys channel. This is Tim and I will be doing another Disney subscription box unboxing for you today. Um, this time the company is called um, Mickey's Mystery Box and um, they just kind of send it in a normal box, which is cool. I mean, it's fine. I don't need to get all fancy every time. But um, this one, this is the Ferris of the Mall size box. It's the medium size. They do have a lot of other options um, with prices varying. I think this one was the $49.99 box. And they do have other options that are just all Disney Park food items, which I actually should have gotten because it's Halloween time and that's when like the best candy and food is at the parks. But maybe for another time if this is good. Um, so we'll see. I'm in front of my fabulous backdrop. I got this from Society6. I will drop the link below just in case you want to check that out. And I will put um, the info for the Mickey's Mystery Box below also. So let's get into this. I'm excited. I was going to wear my Mickey ears today, but I would have to go get them out of storage. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> Just go. Alright. So this is what you get when you open it. They do have a little bit of customization. Um, they just basically told me to like write a paragraph what my favorite things were and what I like. Um, so they have a just the simple thank you, and then you could upload a picture of you with your box each month to be placed in a drawing. To win free stuff. <laughs> so I have another food and wine passport information, which has a bunch of stickers. It has what you do during the food and wine festivals until November. I got one of these in my um, Magic at Your Door box, so I could give this to someone else in case they won't. Okay, I'm actually seeing a probably a mug, something wrapped with um little really, really, I guess it's open. Sorry if it's not in it takes forever to Yeah, it's definitely in my head. It's all in hand Okay. I told them I really like Disney villains. This is actually really cool. Maleficent's one of my favorites. So it's, uh, it's when she's the dragon, and then you turn it around, and there's Maleficent right there. The handle's pretty cool. It's, like, r rigid. This is nice. It's pretty good quality. The inside's purple like my background. So this was $15.99 in the parks. I do like it. You can't have too many mugs, so. Oh, and I do have more confetti. This is blue, which is pretty. Oh. I could wear these. I did get some Mickey ears. I think I'm going to not wear these in the video though because my hair is probably a hot boo-boo mess right now. This is actually really nice. This is the 45th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. I do love me some ears. I need to find out how to display these better. But this was $21.99 at the parks. This is cool. I actually really like this. So. I like both my items so far. All right, so 
looks like there's only one more item left, so I only get three items in this. I'm guessing maybe this is like expensive. Okay, yeah, this is $55, so I guess I could cut them some slack if, you know, they paid a lot for this. Feels like maybe a figurine. Let's see. The box is kind of like Little Mermaid themed. Oh, I just ruined what it was. I shouldn't have looked at this. So it's an aerial resin figurine. So this is cool. They asked me what my favorite movie was and I did say Little Mermaid, so. Even though I'm more of a Disney villain fan, I mean, I do like the princesses too. So let's see. $55 this is really neat. Oh, it actually feels really nice. So we got Ariel swimming over the coral reef. That's actually really nice. This feels expensive too. Fairy Tales and Seashells is the brand. Let's see. Yeah, so it was $55. So this is really nice. So I got, I guess, four items if you include the food and wine passport, but I'm not including that. So three items. I do actually like all the items I got. Um, if I'm ranking, I feel like Magic at Your Door is a little bit better just because they give you more items. It is actually more expensive, so I guess keeping an account, maybe they're kind of comparable if, you know, if you only want to spend like a little bit of money, not like spend $90. Um, on a box. I mean, this is pretty neat. They do have more options on this, so if I did want to get more items, I probably could have went up to uh, the bigger box, but I mean, yeah. So totaling up, everything totaled to be $92, which is actually a really good deal because I paid $50 for the box. And the shipping was super quick. I actually placed my order on October 9th and it got to me by October 22nd, which is really, really good shipping. So yeah, um, I would have to say my favorite item would clearly be the most expensive, the little Ariel figurine. It's awesome. So I actually am gonna give this box another try. I'm gonna stay subscribed to my Ferris of the Mall. Uh, medium size and see what the next box entails. Thank you for watching and um, check out the info for them down below and um, be sure to subscribe because we will have a lot more unboxing Disney and other types of videos coming at you. All right, thanks for watching. Bye guys.